So since Goofy's been having some hard times with his uh, back leg, it's his back, um, his back right leg, I wanted to do some exercise to strengthen that part of his body. So what I'm going to do with him is, first of all, I'm going to put a harness on him. And the harness is going to help a lot so that um, there's no stress on his neck and a harness creates pull in a dog. We've already talked about that. Putting a harness on your dog creates pull. Then what I'm going to do, the first thing is I'm going to stretch him out. I'm going to take, stretch his back legs out, loosen them up, get him limber. And then I'm going to show you an exercise that is using like a drag line. I'm going to take his toy and I'm going to put it further away from him so that he has motivated to go grab that toy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold about a 50 foot line behind him that's going to drag him down as he's trying to get it. So as he's pushing and pushing and pushing, we're going to strengthen his back quadricep muscles, his back core muscles, his stomach muscles and everything by creating the drag in him. If you're going to do this, it's a good idea to use a nylon line, that one that won't break, and most importantly, to use a heavy, heavy-duty pair of gloves. I'm using these bite gauntlets, but um, welder's gloves are good, a lot of gardener's gloves are good. Anything that'll protect your hands, because if that nylon is slipping through your hand, it's going to burn. So take a look what we're doing here, the stretching, the, uh, the harness. The harness is a padded harness on the front of his chest, so he's driving. He loves to pull with that on. Um, the tug toy far in front of him, and they're just using that resistance, and you can kind of um, monitor that and go slow as, as slow as you want and well, then go as fast as you want. That's going to be depending on how much pressure you put on your finger. So take a look and see what you think. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to bend the leg a little bit and massage. And then what I'm trying to do here is stretch out the hip because that's where a lot of the stress is going to come and the pulled muscle is going to come. So I stretch it out and give it a little massage and then bend in, bend the knee, the ankle and really just get them loosened up. And be sure to do it on both sides. So you'll see here, stretch out the hip, straighten the knees, bring it back in and then tuck in, tuck in the knee also. After I do that, you know, sometimes the dog likes to walk around a little bit, but I try to get them back and um, steady them and do the same thing. Front ankles, front toes, just basically loosening the dog up overall. This is an important exercise no matter what you're gonna do with your dog. Just a quick, really quick, loosen them up. I throw the tug, doing it in slow motion. You can see it here. Here goes Goofy. You can see he's pulling on that line. You can see the resistance in that nylon line. And then he brings it back. I throw it again. Here he goes. You can see all that resistance. See how his back legs are pushing and using all their muscles, building that muscle. Really, really good, solid training. Be sure your dog brings your toy back too. If not, you gotta go chase them all over. And the further you can throw, you can see here, see he's pushing both those legs out. It's very, very different than if he was running. He'd be using one leg at a time. With the push, he always uses both legs to really push off. This is just so you can see a front view. And even sometimes getting him to go sideways gives him, gives him a lot of um, exercise on one side. Do it again. See both legs pushing, pushing pushing, me holding that resistance. Notice I'm wearing those thick, thick, thick gloves. Really important. And then once in a while you want to play with the dog so he knows it's not just a game of him bringing it back. But Goofy's got a solid down, a solid recall. Here we go again. Really good, solid push off. He's watching himself while we're doing this. And there you go.